Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna try to make Geometry Dash in Roblox, and I'm gonna see how fast I can do this with AI using ChatGPT. Um, if you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, since this is a brand new channel, and I'm looking forward to posting more videos like these. I also post tutorial content, so if you want to make your own games on Roblox, I have some tutorials on my channel as well. Without wasting any more time, let's see if ChatGPT can recreate Geometry Dash on Roblox. We need to type in a prompt, and it needs to be something good for the AI to understand. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna whip something up real quick. So I just sent it uh, this really simple prompt. I said, can we recreate Geometry Dash on Roblox Studio? Start by step by step. Uh, let's start off with camera and movement. And while the AI is working, let's just set up a few models. We're gonna need a player model. We'll just, we'll just make it, we'll just make it yellow for now. And we're gonna need also a spike. So let's create a spike. Let's just give that a black color. Oh, I like that. Okay. Uh, and I'm assuming this needs to be anchored. Yep, it is. Okay. So we have the character, we have the spike, and now we gotta get the code from AI to actually get this to work. So it wants us to place this local script in starter player, starter player scripts. All right, so we got the code in here from ChatGPT, and we're just gonna play test it, and let's see how it works. You know what, this is actually a good start. This is a great start. So I just gave it a prompt, it says, can we make the camera full side view instead of like that weird, like 45 degree angle? We're just gonna give it a full like two dimensional, uh, angle all right so the ai just gave this and i have no idea what it's trying to say but i'm just going to figure this out okay so i just pasted some of the corrections into roblox and we're just going to see if okay what the okay so there's some bugs we just got to send the script over and correct it and while that's happening i'm just going to try to create some more assets for the game i'm just going to use parts and just uh, scale them up and create some uh, level design here all right, and the corrections came in, so it just told us to replace some of these stuff, which I'm gonna do real quick. Okay, with a couple adjustments from the AI and a couple things with me, I think we got it. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, this is actually great. That is That actually feels like Geometry Dash, what the hell? Okay, since that worked, we're ready for the next step and we can now make the character like a block, like the one we made right here. We can we can make this into the character now. So let's uh, ask AI to do that for us. So I told the AI, can we make the character part a part and replicate a sword called cube and make it rotate when it's falling and snap to 90 degree increments. So let's see what it gives us. Okay, so that took a while, but after a full minute, uh, the AI gave us a replacement script for our DD controller and this should make our character a cube all right so here we are in our script let's just uh select everything and paste the new script in and let's test out okay that's not supposed to okay so the issue here is that the cube is falling through the map apparently so i'm gonna have to ask ai to fix this for me okay so the ai finally is generating us the fixed script hopefully so once this is done i'm gonna copy this and put that back into the script in roblox studio Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Here's the new script and let's test out the game. Oh, we got something. Okay, this actually worked, except that spin is really weird, but it, it's working, it's working. All right, so I just extended the level and I also fixed some of the movement speeds. So now it actually feels like a geometry dash. And the only problem now is that you can just survive anything. If you just crash into stuff, it just floats you back to the top. So let's add a restart script. So I just gave it a new prompt and I'm just gonna send it through and hopefully this gives us what we need. And here we go again, just gonna paste in the updated script and let's see if that fixes anything. Uh, nothing changed. Oh, I just realized that I have to tag all my spikes manually. So just give me one second, I'm gonna tag all of these with the spike tag. All right, so I just gave it a little bit of an update. So we're gonna see if that changed anything at all. So we play, oh, and it's just killing me right away. Okay. And now with this new script, it should work. So let's paste that into the game and it works. Oh, now let's just see what happens when I die. It actually works. All right, so let's build a little bit of a level and I will show it to you guys when it's ready. And I quickly realized that it gets really boring and repetitive, so I decided that I'm going to make a portal for the ship variant. So we're going to do that. So I typed up a prompt, and now I'm just going to press enter. 
the script finally came through so let's just paste the new one in and we just have to set up a couple more tags for the portals okay after a little while i'm was actually able to add a ship in cube uh portal so here we go we got the the ship and we got the cube hey yeah it actually works that's actually fire i'm just gonna add some obstacles around here for the ship here we are look at that that's fire that's gonna be it for today's video i know it's kind of rushed but with the ai you can't really do much that's the main takeaway from this video but it's nice to see that I was able to create something with uh, ChatGPT. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and um, you know check out my videos. I also have tutorials. Um, I'm also working on an actual Roblox game based on uh, Plants vs Zombies, as you can see here. And you can see there's some of the packs. This is some of the UI in the game. If you are interested in playing this, the group will be in the description and the Discord server for it. But let me know if you guys like these kind of videos, and if not, I'll stick to making tutorials. Thanks for watching.